What is up YouTube? It is your boy Zach Tactical coming at you again with another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at two mods by the same guy going by the name of Finosi, if I'm pronouncing that right, on the Steam Workshop for Arma 3. Uh, both Weather Plus and Fire Support Plus are made by this guy and they are phenomenal. Uh, both of them you can use in Zeus and they add a whole bunch of stuff that is very useful that I've never seen onto your Zeus modules that you can use in the game. I mean, they've got rock slides, they've got like snowstorms, they've got all these cool scripts that you can use, and they are very, very cool, including tornadoes, which I'll show you guys that in a second. But be sure you stick around, watch the video, and check it out. If you're thinking about getting this mod, I'll go ahead and tell you now, get it. And if you want to look at this video later on, feel free. But I'm going to go ahead and get straight into the review because I've got a lot to cover that you're going to like a lot. So let's get straight into the video. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kick the video off here. So check it out. Obviously we're on Malden. I have got my dude spawned. We're playing as him. So if I'm in the Zeus module trying to use this mod, all I gotta do is pull up the interface, go over here to modules, and you will see fire support, fire support plus, and then weather plus. Also there's this cool thing called TTS beam laser, which we'll get to probably at the end. So uh, obviously this changes a lot of stuff about vanilla fire support and adds a whole bunch of different modules you can use on top of any other mods that you already currently have. I mean, I'm obviously running Ace and some of that stuff in our mod pack that my community uses, but a lot of this stuff is a little extra, like the 122 HE rockets, um, the barrages, of course, which are super useful, which means you don't have to use like Zeus Enhance and all that stuff to do fire support modules and spawn real units and do all that stuff. You can do it straight from this module, which is awesome. Um, so... I'll just go ahead and show you guys some of the examples of what we're talking about, uh, which they also, I believe, come with custom uh, explosion uh, effects uh, that are kind of similar to Blast Core in a way. So let's just go over here, try it in this open field or this beach, whatever you call it. So 122 millimeter HE rocket. Normal rocket. But if I want to make this a barrage, which I'll be using this one to show the barrage and just doing this one for now. So we're going to do 10 rockets in a 50 meter radius. And obviously you can see where the radius is, you can change it, which is amazing and it goes for every single one of these. So we'll do 10 rockets in a 50 meter radius. And I'm just gonna let it play out. Oh, it's right here. And it's perfect. This might be really loud right now. I'll let it play out. It's it's super nice because you, you don't have to spawn a unit, wait for the rounds to come in, let it fire the rounds. And God knows using actual uh, with like Zeus Enhanced and stuff, getting it to fire and suppress and stuff can be kind of glitchy sometimes. So it just cuts out the middleman and lets you go straight to doing barrages, which is awesome. Uh, so we'll go ahead and upgrade to a single 230 millimeter HE rocket. So high explosive rocket. This is what this is going to look like. Sound effect coming in. Ah. Kind of small for 230 actually. I'll take it, whatever. Uh, and then the EMP, we've tried using the EMP. I mean, visible EMP, player effects, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how it works so far. All right, so I'm going to test out this EMP on my actual player over here. I don't think it does any damage. I really hope it doesn't. But obviously, we're going to go ahead and spawn the EMP over here. Range is going to be 50 meters. Visible EMP, player effects, damage multiplier. Uh, so let's do zero damage. All right, that just went off and the red dot still works so if we're doing an EMP for ooh, obviously you can hear the ring in again uh, if we're doing the EMP to get rid of scopes and stuff like that kind of modern warfare 2 style if you remember that mission with the nuke uh, I don't think it works so far it could be a bug on my side you guys let me know if you've already tested it out uh, the JDAM which the JDAM is fun the JDAM is one of the biggest bombs in the US military's arsenal at least and it is very fun to drop now the special thing about this is you can have a crater It is a little buggy from what I've tried but let's go ahead and show it off real quick and we'll go ahead and drop the JDAM I really hope I don't die from this well obviously it goes off it's a fucking huge explosion and I mean it's just absolutely massive it reminds me a lot of like blast core stuff so if we want to see real quick I said for it to spawn a crater which when it spawns a crater whoa I, like changed my Zeus camera See if I can fix that. There we go. Turn the Zeus camera sideways for it. I've never seen that happen before. That's kind of weird. But obviously, when it spawns a crater, it takes rocks from the editor 
spawns it around it and adds this really large smoke effect, which is really, really cool to see from afar. Like, let's see if we can see it over here. Obviously, big ass bomb. I don't know, I don't think real life it would be that dramatic, but it's still pretty badass either way. I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and try out the napalm, and I think I'm gonna skip the nuke because I'm not trying to crash my game during the recording, but it's similar to the nukes if you use the nukes in like RHS, or I think Ace might add a nuke. I'm trying to remember which one does it. But let's go ahead and do napalm over here. Drops a rocket from way up high. You can even see the fucking fins on it. Very cool, by the way. Very cool blast wave. I do not think that's vanilla, and that comes with this mod, which is very cool. And then, obviously, anything that's inside here burns. We'll go ahead and spawn a unit, and it'll probably set him on fire. He's inside. Not set him on fire yet. Oh, does it not set him on fire? Or does it only affect players? Oh no, it's it's yeah, it's it's hurting him, but it's not setting him on fire using Ace, which I have seen some stuff with Ace changed recently, so maybe that's something they could port over, make a compatibility mod for. Um, but still, Napalm definitely works and sticks to kids. Uh, let me see here, smoke shells, I believe. Let's see here. Yes, that is a part of this mod. We'll do, let's do three for like a smoke cluster. Let's say your Arma unit is requesting a linear smoke target or something like that to obscure their vision. Well, these are going to come in. I think it might just spawn them because I did not hear anything falling. But obviously you see it's a smoke mortar shell. Looks like a, what, 82 millimeter smoke uh, mortar shell. And it adds them kind of in that dispersion. The smoke in Arma, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We're still working on it in my community to figure out if it actually works well. But still, it looks cool as hell if you're doing like a beach assault, something like that, to obscure the enemy's vision. It's pretty badass. Um, so getting into fire support plus, we've got a couple things. This will be actually my first time seeing a couple of these, like the 105 millimeter training shell. I want to see what that looks like. Okay, so it just drops. Maybe that could be like a ranging shell, something like that. I don't know. Maybe you guys do polar fire missions. Uh, 230 millimeter armor piercing. Let's see what that looks like. Anything coming in? Okay, just go straight onto an armor. Uh, Buckshot and Flechette probably also look relatively similar. Might do the same thing, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, you saw all those indents over there. So it's like legitimate, I'm assuming the Flechette's basically the same thing as the Buckshot round. Pretty cool, very good anti-infantry. Um, I don't know if this adds anything for actual artillery in the game. Um, but that would be very cool to be able to call that in on infantry in the open. That would be pretty badass. Uh, 230 millimeter mine. I'm assuming, once again, that drops a mine, plants it in the ground, probably spawns that from like an editor asset. I'm gonna drop it here. Okay, well, it just blows up. Oh. Whoa, okay. And did that add a crater as well? That also added a crater. That's pretty badass. That is actually really badass. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, obviously barrage is multiple missiles. Let's do one cruise missile on top of this area here. And I believe it's the same cruise missile from the vertical launch system in vanilla. Yeah, same explosion and everything. Very badass. Um, you can use that when people are laser designating stuff in Zeus. You can see that if you guys don't know when you're in Zeus, when someone's laser designating something, you can see where that player is pointing. And that would be super cool to be able to use that and just say, Hey, it's on my laser. It's on this grid locks on good to go. Very, very badass. And final stuff for Fire Support Plus. I just wanted to show you guys. Well, I'll show you the small meteor first. I don't know what scenario this would be the best in, but <laughs> maybe a sci-fi scenario or something like that, or even just some regular scenario and all of a sudden a, a meteor comes in, or if you're just messing around, I don't know. But this is what the small meteor looks like. It's just a rock flying from the sky. Where is it coming from? There we go. Just You can even hear it coming in, a little smoke trail. Very cool shockwave effect, similar to the uh, to the napalm effect. Now for the um, for the big meteor, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it maybe on this town. Let's hope it doesn't crash my game. I'm gonna call in the big meteor, and it should come in from out this way. I'm thinking. There we go. That's a big ass rock. Massive explosion. Absolutely massive explosion. Damages a bunch of stuff inside the area. Obviously a lot of smoke, 
lots of smoke. If you're inside the area, what does it look like? Interesting. A lot, of, a lot of smoke around you in a certain radius. But you can see the whole village is just toast right now. So it definitely affects local stuff and adds a crater, like I said, with the other stuff. Now that one's floating for some reason. I don't know if that's waiting for it to load or something. But it leaves the meteor on the ground. So you could even have a scenario where like maybe a UFO or something on a, on a rock crashes and they have to go investigate it. I'm just having a thousand ideas in my head just playing with it and messing around in Zeus. So, so that is Fire Support Plus and the additions to Vanilla Fire Support. Both of those are very, very useful. Five out of five, amazing mod. Highly recommended for anybody that wants to have an immersive uh, Zeus mission that has the ability to do whatever you want with fire support. And it's super simple, very small mod as well. So really, really good job. So I'm going to go ahead and move on now to the Weather Plus mod, which is absolutely hilarious if you do it if you do too much of it at one time. Um, when I was playing with this, the only thing I noticed was that if you do some of the uh, atmospheric changes, like when you do a dust storm on top of like a monsoon, it can kind of like, I don't know how to delete it. So it just stacks from what I've been seeing. So obviously I'm going to, I'm going to go through these. You can see all of them, but I'm only going to use one of them just to show you like what it looks like uh, for one of them and you can go and download the mod yourself if you want to see some other ones uh, but we'll start off with like a dust double which is very very cool the delay I think I don't know exactly what the delay does yet but we got a dust double spawning I'm trying to see if that spawns I can hear something there we go and I want to see if that does anything to infantry maybe it just spawns a dust double now, I don't think they're getting hurt. Very, very cool. Adds like the leaf blowing effect. I don't know if you guys use MCC, but MCC has that you can add as well. And obviously that's just going to be flying around the map, doing its own thing in the dust. Very, very cool. Uh, dust suspension. I'll test that one out real quick. I'll place that down. I don't want to see what that one does for a second. I'm just waiting for it to spawn. That could be on top of this one over here already. Mm, I don't think I see. Uh, no, that's a rabbit. Never mind. I don't see that one spawning, but I think it's similar to the Dust Devil. I'm pretty sure. Uh, falling stars, by the way, uh, basically just add shooting stars. So maybe if you're doing like a sci-fi mission or something like that, maybe it would be kind of useful, kind of cool. Can we delete this if we add it to Zeus? We can. Okay, so that's how you delete local effects like that if they don't have that delete reset button down there. So we've already seen the meteor, by the way. So I'm just going to skip that. Uh, monsoon it go ahead and download the mod the monsoon is the closest depiction of what I would think a, a tropical monsoon would be adds wind adds sounds adds all that stuff with rain really does a good job of just taking everything instead of having to go through the editor and add like 45 different settings to the weather and tweak it does it for you creates a localized monsoon around every player similar to how MCC mission creator kit or mission creator tools, something like that. They, it doesn't localize around the player, so it doesn't overload your GPU or your server if you're running on one, which is really, really nice. Uh, Ring Fog does the same thing. Adds a really good fog that's way better than vanilla, by the way. Way better than vanilla. But <laughs> this one right here has got to be my favorite. Um, I'm trying to find a way to use this in my community. It's the Rock Slide mod, where if I put this here, uh, there is a thing you can read. Yeah, the tooltip reference so it gives you bearings obviously you can choose which bearing so if we're doing bearing north that'd be like zero so we'll do like bearing zero hopefully i'm doing that right so direction is going to be let's see here like 360 uh bounciness you can choose the bounciness let's make it pretty high particle speed's gonna be normal amount's gonna be normal and damage is on let's see where the rocks go they just go the direction yeah they're sliding down here maybe we can spawn some infantry and see what it does to them I don't know if it will hurt them, but we will find out. Obviously, all these rocks are falling down. Maybe this would be... I, I, this might be missing all of them. Okay, well, I guess they just lucked out. Well, it spawns all these rocks, and it's supposed to damage stuff. I'm assuming with Arma Physics, the vehicles, if you're in a vehicle and you get hit by this, it's going to be pretty nasty, especially if you're a player-controlled vehicle. Now, anyway, I'm going to get away from that sound effect. Uh, let's go over here. Thunderstorm, same thing, adds a way better thunderstorm than anything you can get from the vanilla settings. 
very very immersive highly recommend you guys check it out uh, i don't know the lifespan of these objects could i add them to zeus if i wanted to i could so these objects do stay there and they're actual objects that you would have to drive around so if you wanted to cause a really cool uh like you're doing a patrol rock slide happens you got to go around it that would be pretty immersive and i think that would be pretty cool you could even maybe hell i'm thinking now in my head you could plant explosives on some rocks up a hill and then as a convoy is coming down you can utilize the environment to tell that combat story even better they use the rock slide to take out a convoy which would be amazing for a arma op i love it um i mean going down the list obviously we got the tornado let's go ahead and show that off pretty badass uh we did try flying a plane through it and a helicopter through it it didn't do anything to the helicopter or the plane but uh you can see that it adds the trees flying around, adds stuff. It pick, I don't think it picks anything up, but it starts spawning trees, and there's like a script that shows it flying up and then going back down. You can see it from a pretty far away away. It even adds that big giant-ass cloud over there. So in a clear sky, it's obviously going to look pretty weird, but with like, you know, really turbulent weather, I think it would be pretty badass. Now, I don't know if you can tell the, uh, tell the tornado to go anywhere. I don't think so. We'll delete that one for now. Uh, the volcano, by the way, be careful when you guys do this volcano if you're going to do it. But let's do it up here on top of the hill. Crater size is going to be pretty small. Delay is 30. You can do lightning, crater lava, lava flow, lethal. We're just going to do all of it. You can get to see the whole glory of the volcano. And as you see, shoots out lava, shoots out fire, the black smoke, all the plume. Very loud, by the way. Very loud. And uh, let's see if we can get in there real quick. Is there a crater? I do not see a crater just yet. It might have to spawn after it gets done doing the animation. Which, by the way, very, very good use of like the particle effects and the fire and all that stuff. You'll see that in the wildfire um, in a second when I spawn that one. And that's a shockwave, I'm guessing. I don't see a crater yet. Oh, is it shooting out stuff? Yeah, that's like shooting out rocks and stuff now. Oh, no, that's just particle effects. My bad. Uh, I want to see if it adds that crater. I did set the crater size to be relatively small, so I'll go ahead and chalk that up to maybe it spawns, maybe it doesn't. But I did tell it to go small. I did press delete now, so let's see if it dies down. I want to see if it dies down. It should be dying down now. Yes, you can see that it's dying down. Obviously, that, that plume. Can I see that plume? Where the hell am I? Obviously, I'm over here, so let's see. I mean, yeah, you could see that from all the way over here. That would be terrifying in a Zeus mission. Absolutely terrifying. And we'll take a look at the last one that I'll show. Wind gusts, by the way, it just adds a bunch of wind gusts. Um, I don't know for sure if it makes players move around. It wasn't making it do make us make anything move around when we were doing it in our server testing it out, but maybe you guys could test it out after you watch the video and see and let me know. Uh, the wildfire, let's just put it over here where all the trees are. So the range, let's do 56. Enable craters, sure. Building damage, sure. Knocks over the trees. And basically just takes the fire uh, module, or the fire effect, atmospheric effect, whatever, and uh, makes just a big version of it. I don't know if you guys know, but I think this is the campfire uh, little animation from like little tiny campfires in the game in vanilla. And they, I think he just scaled them up, made it look bigger, added some effects and all that stuff. And I don't know if it actually spreads. That would be kind of cool if it spreads, but I, God, that would probably just absolutely ruin, ruin your server. Um, and if we wanted to delete it, I like also how we added the red smoke that helps a lot with like, you know, a wildfire immersion. If we wanted to delete it. I don't know if we can actually delete that. Are the fires something you can delete? No, you don't want to delete the stuff that's been destroyed. So be careful when you use this kind of stuff. Obviously, when you get real close up to the fire, you can obviously see it's very pixelated. But I think from far away, I got no problem with that. I think it looks pretty badass. So I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, the TTS beam laser, which is my personal favorite thing from this entire mod. I'm going to go ahead and spawn, uh, spawn the USS Liberty and see. Obviously, it's not. I don't think it's going to destroy it. <laughs> you can already see with beam laser strike. I wonder what's going to happen. And let's go ahead and place it down here. You can change the color of it. I'll leave it vanilla or vanilla for the mod. And uh, you can even disable the damage if you really wanted to. 
but let's see what this looks like. That's amazing. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. In any sci-fi op, that would be absolutely amazing. And it destroyed the boat. <laughs> I've never seen anything destroy one of the ships in, in Vanilla Arma. And uh, that managed to do it. So it 1,000% destroys even the boats in the game, which is very badass. I actually did not... I didn't even know that was going to happen. Uh, did it do anything? Is there like a crater down here? I don't, I don't think there is. So it's pretty far down. Yeah. So that's... <laughs> It's the laser beam strike from, uh, I want to say that's fire support plus could be either fire support or weather plus, but both of them are absolutely amazing mods. Um, let me just spawn my dude over here, get the good little camera angle. And that is weather plus. So once again, we got fire support plus and we got weather plus and Hey man, they are two of the best mods I have ever seen on the workshop and everyone should download it and use it for whatever the hell you can cr come up with. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun Zeus and missions using that. And uh, I am very thankful that my guys brought that up to me and we 100% added that to our mod pack because it is absolutely amazing. So five out of five for weather plus five out of five for fire support plus, and you need to download it right now. Go download it. So aside from that, that's all I got for the video. And I appreciate you sticking around. If you did, uh, if you didn't uh, get lost and Hey, Right swipe, super like, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Check you later.